And now slide your right knee in between your hands. So pigeon pose. This is one of the most well-known and beloved hip openers. Now those of you who find your hip is elevated, this right hip, place your blanket underneath the right hip so that you can square your hips straight ahead. If you don't need the blanket, just leave it to the side. Now if you want to take this pose deeper, bring this right shin parallel to the front of your mat. Pull your back toes under, activate that back leg, and get that left knee directly underneath. And then relax the toes, hands under your shoulders, and lift through the heart. Take a nice open heart opening, back bend, and then exhale, fold forward. So you can come down onto your forearms, or you can come all the way down onto your forehead, and just mop. Relax the shoulders, relax the jaw, and breathe. Deep, full breath. In and out of the mouth. Think of letting go. And surrendering everything you're holding on to. like a deeper variation, slide the left arm underneath the right arm, drop to your left shoulder and the left side of the face. And for some people this will feel good, others a little too intense. So just listen to your body, a reminder we're always trying to find our edge, that point of sensation but no pain. your left hand for the left ankle. Notice how the torso has a tendency to twist. So see if you can keep the torso straight ahead. You can also use a strap here or you can simply lift the foot and not reach for it. Your choice. So I'm going to reach back for it. Another variation would be to draw the heel in and then bring the left arm around the left foot. And then the right arm comes up and we lift the heart center up. So this is a back bend. You want to get the torso nice and rounded. Find your rest. Working with your variation of this pose. Curl the back toes under and lift all the way up. Downward facing dog. Pedal those feet. And let's drop down once again into table and you can sway those hips from side to side. You'll definitely feel the difference in the two hips. And then let's bring that left knee in between our hands and then slide that right leg all the way back. Okay, so hands under the shoulders, again using this blanket, if it's helpful, you just place this blanket right underneath that left hip. And if you want to take this deeper, bring the shin parallel to the front of the mat, curl the back toes under, and spiral that back leg. Hands under the shoulders, lift tall through the heart. Great, and then exhale, fold forward. Just think of melting, melting into the mat, gently. Sway and dropping down. And release. 
Now, once you get here, feel free to adjust to make yourself as comfortable as possible. And some of you may just rest right here on the elbows, which is fine. Or you could also slide that right arm underneath. And release on to the right shoulder and the right side of the face. Begin to come out of your pigeon. Nice and tall. And now again, lifting that back foot. You can reach back with your right hand for the right. And then working to get the torso facing forward, shoulder blades down the back, hearts in nice and open. And if that's too intense, just hands onto the mat and lifting tall through the heart. We can take it a little deeper by reaching back and placing this right foot into the crook of the right arm. And we're going to lift arm up and over. Length and tall. Open through the heart. Draw the shoulder blades down the back. The key is that because this is a back bend. So if you find your torso dropping forward, see if you can lengthen a little bit of the back. Deep breathing. that you may feel in the lower back. So sit up tall, go tall through the crown of the head, bring the left arm along the left ear, left elbow to the outside of the right knee, and then cartwheel the right arm behind you. Now for a variation, extend that right leg out, bring the left arm to the outside of the right foot, and reach your right arm back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Walk our hands all the way over to the left. Take a nice counter twist. 